well, a very another satisfied entry into these, this animated franchise. Superman Batman Apocalypse and as you can tell by the title you know who's going to be involved in this movie so in this story a meteor falls to Gotham City and lands in the harbor where Batman goes to investigate and a little young girl comes out of it and she has power similar to that of Superman okay Batman doesn't trust her but Superman comes along and finds out that she is his cousin Kara from uh, Krypton, of course. <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> and Darkseid finds out about this and sends people down, his minions down, to get her so he can use her for his own evil doings. Okay? And Batman and Superman, however, have to train Kara via. Uh, Themyscira, where Wonder Woman comes into play, and that's where Darkseid comes and attacks, since his means to attack via Doomsday, a bunch, a bunch of Doomsday minions, okay, like clones, if you will, and the big battle ensues. This movie is awesome, okay. Of course, it is the sequel to Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, but I mean. You wouldn't really think so because the animation styles are completely different from the last animation style. So you wouldn't guarantee it a sequel. Especially Crypto is also in this movie. I think Crypto is in the animated series if I'm not mistaken. But Crypto came in somewhere. I forgot which one. But he came in somewhere. And you haven't seen him for many other movies until this movie. So it was nice to see Crypto back again. And... The voice animation is pretty good. You got Summer Glau in here. She plays Supergirl, a.k.a. Kara. Of course, I forget who plays Wonder Woman in here, but you got Tim Daly and Kevin Conroy back as Batman and Superman, respectively. So they're always a plus in this movie. Action in this movie is pretty good. Not bad for a 79-minute movie, if I'm not mistaken. 78 minutes? Not too bad. Not too shabby. You get a lot uh, for your buck if you bought it. Also, um, I do like the end because it's like a good 10-15 minute fight between Superman, Supergirl, and Darkseid which is awesome. Um, but of course if that was ever in film people would probably complain that it kind of resembles Man of Steel. Why? Because people are getting thrown through buildings again. Even though it's in Smallville, they're getting thrown through buildings again. People are good at complaining about stuff like that. I don't know why but okay. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, this is another well-satisfied entry, and I can't wait to dig into the other ones. So I think I kind of I kind of enjoyed uh, Public Enemies a little bit better, mainly because um, it involved a lot of superheroes and villains trying to attack heroes. But this one is, is second in that command, so I gotta give it a I'm gonna give it a B minus. Still an enjoyable movie, just not as good as Public Enemies, though. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Superman, Batman, Apocalypse. I was going to say Public Enemies. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Which one you like the most, uh, Public Enemies or Apocalypse? Let me know, and I'll catch y'all later.